Hey there again, Erica Swarthy Daisy here. Quick video on how to create virtual escape rooms on Zoom using Google Forms. There are so many ways that you can use Google Forms as well as Zoom, but in this video, we're going to combine the two to make it a fun tool. You will first need to create the Google Form, and I will include a video for that in the description box below. But once you create the Google form with the questions, then you will follow the following steps. After you've planned and invited all of the players for the virtual escape room, you will start the game in a group Zoom. Here you will explain the rules of the virtual escape room. Next, break the players up into groups using the breakout rooms feature on Zoom. Give them an allotted time to complete the levels. You can break it up per room level or allow them to complete the entire game at one time. As the game administrator or host, you can pop into the breakout rooms to give clues and or to monitor the players. Depending on the settings of your Zoom as well as the level of trust, one player can show game level photos or videos on the screen for the other players to see. The team that completes the level or entire game first will be the winner. After the winning team is complete, you can close all of the breakout rooms and you can debrief with the entire group at this time. Now let's look at some game question ideas. Once again, good friend Google has different questions that you can use. You can Google the word mind-bending puzzles, hard puzzles to solve, etc. For example, I found this one is semi-hard, but it says, what are the next three letters in the following sequence? And it gives you J, F, M, A, M, J, J, A, and then three blanks. And the answer is S, O, N. And it says the sequence is the first letter of the months of the year, September, October, and November, are the next in the sequence. Now let's take a quick look at a sample virtual escape room that I created using Google Forms. As you see, I make custom videos to introduce each room. Welcome to the escape room. Your mission today is to find out how to escape each room, solve each puzzle, and move on to the next room. I'm sure you will do well. Now looking at the form again, you'll see that it starts with see if you can solve each riddle or answer each question to move on to the next room. And escape room number one, answer the riddle below to move on to the next room. So here I am putting in just a random answer and it shows you that you cannot proceed without putting in the correct answer. So here the correct answer is dozens. And when I put it in, it clears and I hit next. Excellent. Get ready to enter room two. For this sample Google form, I have several examples of different ways that you can submit answers as players. This one is super easy because it's either you pick one or the other, but it's just showing you if you have um, a game set up for younger kids versus adults, you might want to put more typing answers for adults and maybe multiple choice for younger kids or multiple choice for different types of answers. But whatever the case is, this is room three. Great job. Get ready to enter room three. For this one, I pulled a riddle video from YouTube and I re-downloaded it so that I could re-upload it to the page and use it, just the, the question part of it and I cut off the answer part of it. But here, I'm not gonna play it for the video's sake, but here you can actually use that video as one of the clues. And then at the bottom, as you see, I have two sections where they will type in their answer. Again, I have an intro to room four video that was custom made, so I'm not going to play that. But as you look here, there is now a quick math puzzle that I pull from the Internet again. And you can use things like that that have images. And here I'm just doing like a drop down kind of answer format. So it's optional. You can also have them type it in. But I'm using this again that 
could be used with younger kids or you can use it with adults but whatever the case is this is just showing you the different formatting options you can use on Google Forms and now here at the end you can put in a cute little video I just made this using spark video but you can pick a cute little image or you can use stickers as they call it in spark video and create some cute little graphics for their last page so they're kind of yay congratulations type video and again this can be modified however you want it for the ones that i used i also included a uh, box at the end that says the team name or your name so at the very end when they get to the end of the form they can state which team you know got to the end or which individual player so it's just however you want to uh, set it up so that's it this is erica swarthy daisy again if you guys like this video make sure to like if you have some comments or questions make sure to leave them below in the comment section and if you think it'll help someone else, please share it. So once again, this is Erica Swarthy Daisy. Thank you so much for watching. Have fun. Bye.